Today we're taking our first look at Black Swan. She definitely sounds like an interesting character. We'll be pairing her with Kafka today, but I just feel like they would be a very good pair. As always, we gotta start with ascending her. Probably a little bit of farming is required over the past couple days since the patch actually dropped. I have been farming a ton of her trace materials, so we might be good there, but not quite for ascension. Since we actually invested quite a bit into Black Swan more than I usually do, uh, we could get her up to E1. And we do have her signature light cone as well. This will be a two-part series. For this first one, easier S0, but we will get her up to 80 and raise her traces up to eight as well. So pretty much a free to play representation of what she can do. We do need six runs here for the last ascension, so I'll be right back. And we're back, let's go ahead and do it. Oh no. <laughs> It's been so long since I've even had to think about XP books. Well, I just got my battle pass up to 19. That helped a tiny bit. <laughs> Guess we can get some new synthesis materials here, so may as well. Let's do one more six run and see if that's enough. Eh. Oh my gosh, just that last level will probably require another 60. It's enough now, right? Yes, okay, but barely. We're only saving two blue books there. Taking a look at light cones, everything being equal, I would say Eyes of the Prey is the best four star overall. Though since mine's only S3 and I have this S5 event card, I'm probably gonna go for it instead. But I think even at S3, this one might slightly edge it out because of the 36% dot damage increase as well, as opposed to the eight energy. Now she can reduce enemies death, so this one would be good as well, but I think for now we're just gonna go for this event cone. Doing a quick little trace overview here, her basic attack for once isn't so basic. In addition to just dealing damage, there's also two separate chances to apply Arcana to the target. Once just because, and the other if they have some other dot on them. Before getting into the rest of their kit, it's important to understand what Arcana is and how it works, which we can mainly do by looking at her talent here. While afflicted with Arcana, enemy targets receive wind dot equal to 204% of Black Swan's attack at the start of each turn. Each stack of Arcana increases this damage multiplier by 10.2%. Once this damage happens, it will reset to one and it can stack up to 50. Pretty much everything in her kit can apply Arcana in one way or another, so you can probably get a decent amount of stacks. In a nutshell though, Arcana is basically a dot, like Wind Shear. Specifically in her talent, it does have additional effects depending on how many stacks of Arcana you have at the time of explosion. With three or more, she'll also deal some damage and a chance to inflict another Arcana on adjacent targets. And then with seven or more, the dot will ignore 20% death. So pretty good abilities there. Her skill's quite nice, it's not only an AOE attack, but there's also a 100% base chance to inflict a stack of Arcana and a 100% base chance to reduce the death of the target enemy and the adjacent enemies by 19.3% for three turns, at least at level eight here. So she's a dot character, but also a death reducer. And then finally, her ultimate will apply Epiphany to enemies. They'll take 22% increased damage on their turn, which is of course when dots explode, so that's good. They are also considered to be simultaneously afflicted with every other dot, wind shear, bleed, burn, and shock. As far as I'm aware, this is mainly important for her LC and E1, which of course we'll take more advantage for when we're doing our, our part two showcase. But like we talked about a second ago, Arcana, once it explodes, will reset to one. However, the first explosion after doing ultimate, Arcana will not reset one time. So you can stack it quite a bit higher. And of course her ultimate deals initial damage as well, 108% of her attack to all enemies. Taking a look at her bonus abilities, her first one here also does take advantage from this state of Epiphany where they're considered to be simultaneously inflicted with all these stats because each of those statuses with her first bonus ability has a 65% base chance of inflicting an extra stack of Arcana. So this will help us stack quite a bit faster. We're gonna get that of course. Second bonus ability following the same theme, just by an enemy entering battle, there's a 65% chance for it to be inflicted with Arcana. And then every time an enemy target receives dot during a single attack by an ally, there's another 65% chance to be inflicted with Arcana. So just like lots of Arcana going on there. And her final bonus ability is a damage buff for herself based on her effect hit rate. Doing a little bit of math, you would need 120 effect hit rate to max out this bonus. I think that's a little much for a dot character, but that's what you would need to max out the bonus. We've run out of materials. I don't really want to farm some more, so we're just going to leave it at that. We are missing a couple of stats here, but nothing too significant. Taking a look at her Eidolons, E1 is really good, which is why I went for it. Enemies afflicted with any of the dots will have the corresponding element of those dots 
Resistance reduced by 25%. Res reduction, very powerful. E2 sounds really good, but especially for certain content like Pure Fiction, where there's tons of different enemies, you can really start ramping up the Arcana stacks there. Six stacks on adjacent enemies when an enemy with Arcana is defeated. E4 honestly doesn't sound that good to me. After Black Swan does ultimate and puts the enemies in the Epiphany state, they have their effect res reduced by 10%. And at the start of the enemy's turn, or if they are defeated, Black Swan will get eight energy. The catch is this energy regeneration can only happen once per epiphany, so something. E6, of course, as it should, does sound really good. It's just a shame you have to get through E3 through 5, really. But in a nutshell, a lot more Arcana stacks will be applied. Like, a lot, a lot more. Generally, though, dot characters are quite a bit easier to build because you don't need crit rate or crit damage, as dots can't crit. You basically just need a lot of attack and obviously effect hit rate. That being said, I have farmed a decent amount of the actual dot set. Two piece, 12% attack, four piece, 18% def ignore. So yeah, it's a really solid dot set. I did look up these new sets since I don't have them yet. Pioneer sounds like a decent general set for a lot of characters, as long as they can inflict at least one debuff and you have someone else that inflicts a couple others. Definitely not for a dot team though, because it it primarily increases crit rate and crit damage. And the other one is purely break effect, maybe for Ron May, but uh, for the sake of this video, neither of them really matter. The primary subsets we're looking for are speed, attack percent, and effect hit rate. That'll actually be true for most dot characters in general. It's so weird, but yeah, like this piece is utter trash. May as well be two flat def stats there, which is sad. Maybe that's subconsciously why I never got into dot characters. This is the only one with three good stats we found. So let's hope it rolls well and that the fourth sub is not horrible. It's flat def. Thankfully, it didn't go to it yet. Overall, it's rolled fine. We can take a look at the new UI here as well. You can see exactly how many rolls went into each subset, which is cool. Let's see what happens at 15 here. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, I thought I saw death go up, but it's actually speed. We got seven speed on this. Overall, solid piece. I will definitely take it. This one is almost as good as it gets. Starts with four subs. If that death percent was like effect res or something, it would technically be a little bit better, but this is a very solid piece. Let me keep looking around anyway. Nope, we gotta put our hopes into this one and that it doesn't roll into death too many times. Not yet, only attack and effect hit rate, very nice. I think we're out of four star materials, which is going to make this a bit of a slog. Straight shot to 15, let's see what happens. Eh, ah, oh, death, two rolls into death. Very sad, very sad, but okay. It could be worse, technically. Let's equip it anyway. For the chest, I would prefer attack, but we might have to go effect hit rate. We'll come back to that at the end because the rest of the pieces are pretty obvious what we're going for, like speed boots here. This is the only good looking one really with attack and effect hit rate. Again, since you already have speed up there, it's basically as good as we can have it. Okay, okay, we got it to 14. We got two attack rolls and one effect hit rate roll. Let's get that last roll in there. And, uh, okay, had to see that one coming. Here we are gonna go wind damage. Dots do become more powerful with wind damage. For Lincoln Ball, we have a couple of different sets to choose from here. I think Firmament Frontline is probably gonna be the best, followed pretty closely by Space Ceiling Station. So for me, it's gonna mainly come down to where I have the better wind damage boosts. We literally only have one for Firmament Frontline and it doesn't look good at all. We got two for Space Ceiling Station that also both look really horrible. Like everything is as bad as it possibly could be really. We're also gonna go attack percent rope so we can see our options. All the space ropes are horrible. So I think we are definitely going firmament frontline. Straight shot to 15 to see what happens. Uh, everything went up once except break effect twice. Better than flat def, I guess. Overall, not that happy about it, but what can you do? We should be getting pretty fast actually here already. We're at 143, plenty of speed. We're gonna give her the one win damage I have and hope for a decent fourth sub. It was affected rate. Unfortunately, it rolled into death twice already, um, but at least we got a useful stat there. Maybe if we're super lucky, it rolls into affected rate here. All right, here we go. Flat attack. <laughs> I mean, better than another death roll, I suppose. Okay, now I guess would be the time to look at our affected rate and see if we need a, an effect chest. We're at 80%, which is super annoying. A max chest would give us more than we need, even to max out her final bonus ability, but I'm not sure 80% would be enough. Even with her signature, it gives the same as the card we currently have, so we're not gonna get much future effect hit rate. Only the 6% here. If we got a lot via substat, I'd be happy with like 100%. Literally only have one chest with effect hit rate substat though. No, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Honestly, I think we'll just take it for now. I'm not really happy about it, but we're at 87.6. We'll be over 90% when we get this. And maybe we'll eventually get some better pieces, but yeah, I guess for now we'll just use her as is. 
As for Kafka, I don't remember she needed a ton of effect hit rate because of her final bonus ability, increasing the chance to apply shock by 30%. We don't even have an attack body on this set, so we're probably gonna go two piece, two piece. 16 effects hit yeah. <sighs> That's so bad. I have so many of them. Why would I keep this? It's not equipped on anyone. We also finished our Kafka again. Nothing insane. I did have to raise a lot of pieces. Um, They rolled fine, I guess. We just have her in two piece speed, two piece lightning. Got her up to 138 for firmament and the 12% damage buff. Currently have her in good night sleep well at level 70. I can't raise it right now. Good night sleep well, I feel like is good for her. I mean, pretty big damage buff here, which also applies to dot damage. I think she has a little too much effect hit rate actually at 81%, but that's just how the things rolled is what it is. I think it'll be all right overall. We are just going to try these two as my dot units. So Kafka and Black Swan that we're going to have Raw and May just because she's in insane support and then Fushuin so we don't die. The team might be better with it with an additional dot character instead of Ron May, but eh, Ron May is kind of insane. So all right, let's just try a random battle here against these guys. Uh, Well, they're all almost dead because of Fushuin burst, but uh, let's try her blast here that might just kill them so they have arcana we can see that now already three stacks and their death is already reduced by 20 percent since these guys came into battle they also just kind of start with a stack of arcana we're gonna blast here all right we definitely need to uh fight something harder oh yeah pure fiction is reset since we uh, got all the stars last time we can start on floor three i suppose oh we do have some dot bonuses here i usually save the end game content for god mode but uh we could at least try stage three that's kind of annoying though do we go with the lightning one because of kafka or the wind one because of her and her wind shears i guess since she's the character we're showcasing we're uh, gonna take her and here i guess i'll just take my old inhibitor team all three bonuses are focused around Dot, though. That's not going to fare well for my Imbibitor team. I think in this team, we're going to take Libel, since we should be doing Arcana a lot, and maybe that counts and will, you know, apply to adjacent enemies. In this team, we kind of have to go for Rumor, because the other ones require us to do Dots, and no one here does that. Let's just see how it goes, I guess. Oh, that was a lot of Arcana. <laughs> Dang. I haven't even done anything, and, and dudes are already dying. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Look at that. They're just dropping. Okay, she's going to counter us, I guess, but I, I don't really care right now. We can do her ultimate. Do we want to do her ultimate? I'm not even sure. Sure. They'll uh, stop Arcano. Ooh, that's a really cool burst. Dude, they're just like dying from nothing. That's so cool. Everyone's dead. That's pretty wild. We're going to do Kafka ultimate, which maybe we shouldn't have because she'll explode the dots. She did do a lot of damage at 114 there. Let's do her skill again. We can also do her burst, but it's like, I don't feel like it's worth doing her burst until we get an actual boss like this one here. All right, let's go ahead and do it. But uh, when it's the boss's turn and Arcana explodes, she should still have Arcana, which literally doesn't have any Arcana right now. Still no Arcana. Okay, well now she'll definitely get some Arcana stacks from our skill, hopefully. Yeah, she just took Arcana damage. She has seven stacks right now and still has seven stacks even after taking the Arcana damage. I guess it won't even be necessary because she'll probably die. I mean, we're only on stage three. I would be actually pretty disappointed if we can't get max points here. To be fair, I'm most likely doing something wrong. So, hey, wait, no, there, that was it. We still had a whole cycle, actually. That was really good. I have a feeling this team won't go as well because... It's all about dot here, and we're not doing any dots. Yeah, this one's definitely not going anywhere near as well. For pure fiction, probably I should have tried Argenti somewhere. We should be able to get the 60,000, I think. We're just like a couple points away here. Yeah, there we go. It was pretty close, but uh, we got it. The first team definitely carried, though. Yeah, that was really close. <laughs> I could have used my Argenti team in first half and the uh, dot team down here. That would have gone a lot better, probably. On stage four, though, I'm not sure. The dot team would be perfect for first half but i'd probably take ron may out and go my ice team down here don't really want to raise my sampo to have an extra dot so i might just throw branya there i know she increases crit damage which doesn't help but the ad action advancement's pretty handy as well i don't think we're going to be able to do this that's so insane that characters are just coming in and dying <laughs> yeah her burst i'm not really sure where to use that on these enemies because they're all kind of weak okay we actually have a boss here unfortunately we are uh, pretty low on skill points this team is way too skill hungry the boss has 10 stacks of arcana currently so we'll see what happens when it when it's his turn right now yeah we got like 140k damage there 
was pretty decent. I mean, it's going to be pretty close. Kafka is getting a little hurt here, though. Yeah, I mean, the dude only has 3% left. We have uh, one full cycle. Unfortunately, now he's, like, uh, invincible, I think, because there's still enemies. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Oh, there we go. That was a little close. Kafka had like 100, 100 HP left because I couldn't refresh Fushwin's barrier thing. Wow, so we actually kind of perfected that one. This I am uh, much more scared about though. Oh no, I think I took the light cone off of Pella and gave it to Black Swan, which is why she probably has 2000 uh, <laughs> HP. But it's not looking super bad right now. I mean, because we uh, maxed out the points of the last one, we don't even need to beat Argenti. Yeah, by the time we make it to Argenti, we have 60k, so we're actually fine. We only have one cycle left anyway, so I don't think that's gonna work out. Yeah, ran out of cycles. We were still able to get all the points, so I don't really care. But yeah, in both three and four, uh, it was kind of the dot team that carried. They did really well. I would like to try something that doesn't have such a uh, benefit for uh, damage over time teams. Okay, yeah, this one isn't specifically dot. So we'll just try stage seven here and see how they do. All right, done with the first side. We only needed two cycles, it looks like. So I guess just as a reference, this is only stage seven, so. It's not going to be super difficult regardless. I just kind of want to get a better idea and sort of see what they're doing not in Pure Fiction. I think I think Pure Fiction was kind of a interesting. I mean, there was a lot of Arcana probably from her technique there. Whoops, we shouldn't be on auto. I was on the auto for the last one just because, but I do want to try and see a little bit more about what she's actually doing. Like a couple of things have already happened, but uh, dude has six stacks currently, which again, you can kind of consider as wind shear, but also it has its own special stuff we were talking about earlier. But yeah, so we're going to go and do blast here. There was also an Arcana number that popped up, I believe that it has like a special text and icon. Kafka has a weird ability to like pre explode. So that may have been what, what that was, but of course, Arcana did not reset its stacks. That'll happen. It actually won't happen because we can do her ultimate now. So these two at least will have epiphany. There goes. Uh, so we got like a 32k hit, I believe that was. Not massively impressive or anything, but if we do like Kafka's burst here, that should also get us another decent number. Yeah, we got like a 22k also from Arcana. Then we can go and blast again for another 17k purely from Arcana. I mean, and this dude's almost gone already, so that was uh, not bad. Yep, there he goes. And of course, the more Arcana stacks, the more damage he'll take. Like here, only takes 13k because two stacks of Arcana, as opposed to the 20 or 30k we were doing when he had 10 stacks, or when the last boss had 10 stacks. Gonna go and do her ultimate now because Ape is about to go and take away all of Arcana, so going to just explode that first, I suppose. Again, I don't really get dot teams, but I'm assuming that's pretty much how it works here. We're actually almost done with this battle already. Looks like we might be able to do it also in uh, two cycles here. Actually, I actually think that was only one cycle. Never mind. <laughs> pretty good. No specific dot buffs there either. So, I mean, there's definitely something with it. I'll probably be playing with uh, this team or some other combination of team for the next couple days until we do God mode so that when I do do that showcase, I can hopefully appreciate what's going on more. Until then though, that'll do it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks. As always for watching and until next time.